Hello everybody, it's me again, checking in from Philly. So, this is day three, I guess, here in Philly, doing my CDL training at Start, Start CDL Training is the name of the company. Um, so yeah, I had my backing today, just straight backing to get familiar with the truck. Um, I was at eight o'clock this morning. Um, I arrived a little late because I did forget my, this booklet they gave me. I forgot it, so I had to turn back, back to the hotel and grab it real quick. So it was, I arrived there like 8.15 or something. And yeah, then I was went to the truck, the backing truck. They have like, looked like four, four trucks. Um, one truck is for backing and two trucks were doing like offset backing and then last truck was doing alley docks I didn't see anybody do parallel parking so I asked one of the instructors do you guys practice parallel parking here and they said no I asked is that even on the exam at the DMV they said no so I guess they won't um, tell you to do parallel parking so only offset, backing, and alley docking, apparently. So, we'll see. But yeah, I had one hour to back my truck. Um, just straight back. Um, at first, the instructor did it first couple times. I sat in the passenger seat. He backed it up a um, couple times, showed me how what, what to look for. Mirrors, see once if the trailer is push if you see the trailer moving to one direction while you're going straight you want to move your wheel in that direction to level it up again so yeah he did that and then I took over he wasn't in the truck with me he was outside giving me pointers he saw me going too uh, too far or something um, so yeah I was backing it up looking at my mirrors um, I noticed you just hold it straight if you don't move, move the tractor if the tractor goes straight the trailer is gonna go to the right that's what I noticed mostly um, so just small adjustments to the right um, to back the trailer back up behind the truck so if you guys saw the trailer moving to the right I would move my my steering wheel to the right and then watch my mirrors make sure it's straight then to the left, if the trailer is going to the left, but mostly it happened it was it went to the right. So the first couple of times, it was rough. <laughs> I was nervous, you know, first time in the truck, trying to see how this thing moves. So yeah, I was messing up. Uh, wasn't sure what I was looking for, where the trailer, how it goes, how it moves. So he, the instructor was outside two three backs he was next outside the truck telling me how to turn the wheel and whatnot and i was watching the mirrors to see how exactly it's supposed to be positioned so it goes straight so it doesn't go sideways um so yeah, after that i pulled up and then the rest of the time i was doing it by myself for the rest of the hour um i think i got it i understand how to do it um so i scheduled that again for tomorrow at 8 a.m um to back now the thing here is I asked I went in the office and said can I schedule more than once a day because one hour is not enough um, they said no the same backing but you can schedule another like another backing like offset or alley dock the same day for not an hour so tomorrow I only have the backing schedule at 8 a.m. again because I can't do my offset backing or alley dock until I do the in cab inspection and um, air brake test. So I'm going to go back over there to later today to do those with an instructor. So they passed me in that. Uh, I was studying yesterday and today. I'm study a little more now how to do the air brake and in cab inspection. Shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. So then I'll be able to schedule my offset. So my plan is go do that today, the air brake test and in-cab inspection. 
once I pass that, I'm gonna schedule my offset also tomorrow. Hopefully there's free spot because eight to, eight to five, I think is their work time. So I wanna do backing, offset, and then I think you have to pass the trailer suspension and whatever, trailer inspection, because I didn't do that. I only did the tractor inspection first day. I have to be able to pass that to do LE dock, I think. So it's kind of weird how they make you do this stuff. I think it's because they have a lot of students and they want people to pass this pre-trip stuff before you can schedule your appointments because, yeah, you only get one hour a day to do that one ba one backing um, and then if a spot frees up or something, if something could make it or whatever, you would check with the instructor, see if you can slide in that spot. That's what they told me as well. Because I did tell them I'm only here two weeks. Um, so I need more time than an hour, man, to practice this. It's not going to cut it, man. I don't know. What to tell you. Um, reviews telling me online. Oh, yeah, I passed my exam in two weeks. I got my license in two weeks. Uh, really? How? You train one hour a day and it doesn't fly. Those are... Those reviews seem all sketch, but I don't know. We'll see if I can schedule or if I can get this down and back in one hour every day, one parking, but you get multiple parkings during the day, I think. So we shall see. I mean, if you're back, if once you get start to offset, then you know how to move the truck. The backing shouldn't be that hard. Just watch the where the truck goes. But yeah, I didn't do the like city driving yet. I need to do that as well. I can schedule that at any time. I was told by one of the students, you can see, he already did that. So how that works is they have three people in the truck. You alternate, I guess, who's driving. So um, you can schedule that and then drive in, in the city. The truck, so you're familiar with that. Um, yeah, so yeah, later today, this afternoon, I'll go back, do that in cap and air brake test, and then schedule offset as well because I only schedule backing so far because that's the only thing I can do for now, I guess. So, yeah, that's my experience as to start CDL training so far. Um, yeah, it's different than I thought. They said it's an open training but you need to schedule and you can only do it for an hour. So that's kind of sucks. But I mean, I'll stick, stick with it these two weeks, man. See where I'm at. Um, what they think if I can pass the exam in two weeks and whatever it is, they, this training that they provide, see if it's effective or not. Nah. Probably need more time because it's one hour a day kind of weird I don't know we'll see so yeah, I'll keep you updated how it goes and I still got you still got to study your inspections and stuff this to practice man you can't forget that stuff so yeah man I gotta pass all that stuff so we shall see how it all works huh all right catch you next time see ya again so just an update I'm back in the hotel again um, I did stop by at CDL training start CDL training again I was there this morning for my backing and I stopped by again to do the in-cab inspection and air brake test and I passed it with the instructor I just want to talk about the instructors real quick um, they seem very not interested to talk to you <laughs> uh, most of my foreign there um, I don't know what, I'm not sure the, exactly the nationality but when I was doing the air brake test uh, I forgot the guy's name I don't know if he introduced himself or not either um, yeah I was doing the air brake test started it 
turned on the engine, whatever. Um, did my safety items, the in cab inspection, all, all well and dandy. Then when I was about to start the air brake test, they needed this truck to borrow this truck for something. Uh, so another instructor just was putting down the landing gear on the trailer. That was attached to the truck. So and then the instructor next to me just said, all right, just continue the air brake test, but don't turn on the engine. Just tell me what you would do. So basically I just told him what I would do and just pointed at stuff without actually doing it. So, but he still passed me. <laughs> uh, oh, also when I was doing the inspection, I said every part of the inspection after um, I did the four-way flashes, the hazard lights, I did that. But then he told me I was missing something. I was like, what the hell did I miss? And, I, and he thought I missed the hazard flashes, but I literally told him that. I it was, it was there. He just, I guess, wasn't paying attention at that moment. So it seems like they're not really paying attention to what you're saying. Um... But yeah, he's like, he told me, I see you're good. So, whatever. He put this on, on my booklet that I passed. Uh, so, apparently, on these booklet things, you need to pass everything before you can move on. So, my backing. I did backing this morning. The, the instructor that taught me didn't sign off because you actually have to do a backing test only between 5 and 6 p.m. So... I guess you gotta pass that so you can then move on to offset parking which I kind of find weird so I can't practice everything I gotta pass this first just the backing itself before I can move on to the offset but that shouldn't be too hard so tomorrow I have backing I have to do that backing test so I pass so I can move on to offset and then once I do offset practice then I pass that test so they can sign off and I can move on to Ali Doc. and um, after that there's no parallel parking I asked the instructor there's no parallel parking nobody's practicing it uh, I guess the exam the DMV is not gonna ask for parallel park it is what it is uh, that's good I guess not to worry about that but still kind of weird but so yeah it's all set backing reverse and ollie duck only um i'll talk to some students there they've been there since february before the pandemic hit and everything was shut down so they had to wait um now they're back practicing um talked to a couple guys um i told them i won't be here long so we'll see if i can actually schedule more time i went to the main office again and just to verify everything but they're like, no, I got to pass this. And then if there's open spots in the schedule, check with the instructor, you can go ahead and do it. But you can only do one of one of these parkings a day for an hour. That does not seem enough time for me, my situation. I don't live in Philly. I don't plan on living here. So I also talked to another student. He already did his road test, city driving, not his road test, just city driving, see how it goes. Um, there's three people in the truck and they alternate. I think it's one instructor and two students in the truck. You go on the road, you drive the truck, you switch at some point. So you do that. Um, yeah, we'll see how everything goes, I guess.